absolutely gorgeous outside. Want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. Toasty, yes, but we don't have the humidity. That's right. That's what's wonderful about this time of the year. We can get the heat at times, but without all of that humidity. And the temperatures we've been feeling today for the second day in a row since yesterday was the warmest so far, at least at that point this year. We had 85 degrees. This is more on par how we should feel for the month of June. But again, yes, without the humidity. Can't stress that enough. But warmest so far this year, and that's today because we did better than 85 that we had yesterday. 86 right now in the Queen City here in this 4 o'clock hour. That number's matched in Monroe and Albemarle. We've got 87 in Waysboro. And check out you all there as Shira, the hot spot, as is oftentimes the case, hitting 90 degrees. You've got those high 80s in Rockingham. Meantime, low to mid 80s in places like Hickory, Taylorsville, Statesville, Salisbury's at 85. But look at that. You all in Morganton at 89 degrees as well. And we've got those mid and upper 70s up there in the higher elevations. The wind is much lighter than it was late last week and over part of the weekend. And again, dew points are still overall in the drier zone right around 50. So we've got that relative humidity only at about 29%. It's a mostly dry scan on radar, but I say mostly because look at this. We actually do have an isolated pop up storm that's gotten going just over the past couple of minutes over Lenore, and we were watching for this earlier today. We said this was a possibility that with this backdoor cold front dropping in from the north, notice how they're tracking some severe storms over sections of eastern West Virginia and across the northern part of Virginia. With that getting closer to us, we could actually see and continue to see a low risk of severe weather across the northern tier of the state. It's a level one for the most part up in the mountains. You all there at Boone, maybe northern Iredell County, but just know we could get a couple of those isolated storms dropping down over the next few hours. Let's check out future cast here. So through the rest of this evening, I know it's not much. We could see an isolated downpour storm again. The best chance for this will be for you all up in the mountains over the southwestern part of the state. But again, there's just really not much showing up there even across the northern tier. The latest run of this forecast computer model. We'll have some leftover scattered clouds into the night, but otherwise looking pretty good out there. Temperature only cools down to 62 to start the day tomorrow with a southwest wind at about 5 to 12 miles per hour. So we stay mostly clear and mostly dry for the next few days with those low pop up rain and storm chances. Summer like warmth will prevail at least for the next few days until we get into the weekend. Temperatures drop closer to normal, even a little cooler than normal with an unsettled it looks like stretch ahead as well with more higher rain and storm chances coming up. So for tomorrow, we'll see a little more clouds mixing with the sunshine. Temperatures in the 60s in the morning, topping out back in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. Are we getting into record territory here? So the record high tomorrow is 89. I think we'll stay just below that. I'm forecasting about 87 degrees. Wednesday's forecast high only 82. That's pretty far away from the record from all the way back in the late 1800s. 94, 93 is the record on Thursday. Still on the warm side for this time of the year, but I'm forecasting 88. So so records mostly will stay safe for the next few days. As I said, though, the temperature outlook is a little bit of a cooler one as we fast forward into the weekend and going into next week. So up and down roller coaster temperature ride. That's how it's going to be over the next several days. Again, the rain and storm chances. This is a look ahead of tomorrow afternoon. The best chance of any hit or miss showers and isolated storm. We mainly across the northern tier of the state. We could see maybe a little activity bubbling up there by the evening out towards, say, Richmond County and the sand hills. Same type of situation for Wednesday morning. A little bit of rain may skirt on by Wednesday afternoon. A few isolated showers will be a possibility. Check out that mountain forecast. A little stormy. It's possible for you all there into tomorrow. Highs, though, will still be on the warm side. Low to mid 70s. Some lingering clouds on Wednesday. Wednesday looks mostly dry. Thursday, lots of sunshine. Then we'll pick up on more scattered showers and storms as we head into the weekend as temperatures fall back a little bit. So we go from temps well into the 80s over the next few days back into the high 70s or even upper 60s by the end of the weekend and early next week with those better chances of showers and storms by Sunday as well.